What's up guys and welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a little bit more informative compared to the previous ones. Uh, it's basically, it will be a, about what happens when you enter first prestige and how to enter first prestige. You gotta remember that in this game, um, there, there are 50, uh, 50 levels that are demanded by the game. That, so you gotta reach commander level, which is level 50, and then you will, you will have to go for one more level to enter prestige, just as usually call of, usual Call of Duty. After you reach the 50 plus 1 levels, you gotta go into your main Call of Duty menu, select multiplayer, after multiplayer you gotta click on Xbox Live, once you're connected to Xbox Live, you gotta go down in the main menu to operator, after you are down in operator, you can see down at the bottom there is prestige, click on prestige, enter prestige level 1 to continue your progress on public matches, yeah let's go. Reset your challenges, rank and unlocks for a bit of prestige, for this you gain a prestige rank icon, calling card, player gear and permanent unlock, your armory will remain along with any calling cards and emblem icons that you have already earned. You gotta click on more info after that. Everything you have unlocked including weapons, experience and challenges will be reset, you'll have to rank up to reacquire them. Only your calling cards, emblem icons, weapon camo challenges and armory items will be unaffected. Choose a permanent unlock. Right now I was kind of really really undecided on which permanent lock to, the, to go for. As you can see you can choose from any anything that you can pick in the pick, for, pick 13 system including score streaks. I thought at the beginning that I wanted to go for uh, an assault rifle in the primary category, primary weapons. Uh, simply because in that case would have been the IMR simply because be I really really enjoyed that, that rifle and I know that I can only unlock it at level 32 but the other thing is that the I also have a really really su good supply drop IMR so I was kind of really really undecided but then I thought that since when I usually go hard on people I use my KF5 submachine gun for which I have another really really cool supply drop item um, I was kind of, I basically changed my tra my train of thought and I went back and I decided to go for the um, scavenger perks uh, simply because for my playstyle, for my rushy, aggressive playstyle, having ending without, with, no bu with no bullets is kind of really often. So for that reason I went for the scavenger pack, after that you will go and see that you have actually received a lot of goodies. You will receive the sentinel recon gloves, sentinel recon pants, sentinel recon loadout, sentinel recon boots, sentinel recon skin guards, sentinel recon shirt, sentinel recon knee pads and the last two are the, ni the nicest one, the sentinel recon mask and the sentinel recon exo. Yeah, but that's it for today's video. I really appreciate you guys talking by. Um, I am no pro player whatsoever. I don't like to pub some that much. I just like to have fun. My KD is pretty low as my win-loss ratio as you can see there in the screen. But, you know, I just have fun. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.